Hello guys and welcome to a new Men of War 2 video today by me Vulcan. In this one, I'm going to be playing with the American Engineer Battalion and I thought I would give this a go because it's a battalion that I haven't really shown off on the channel yet. I've done like the Sturm Tiger, we've messed around with KV-2s but I thought I would take the opportunity to show off the engineers because they have plenty of things that they can do including building pillboxes, you can build dugouts, you can build bunkers, you can build watchtowers with machine guns and just general watchtowers. You can place loads of mines all over the place. It's really cool. It, with the engineer battalions, what you do is you have a bunch of yes, engineers that are just part of your team. And you can click these buttons at the bottom when you don't have anything selected and you can build bunkers and stuff. It's really, really handy. Yes, sir. Anyway, for now, yes, we're just uh, kind of moving up here. I need to keep my Azuka guys safe in case a vehicle shows up. <laughs> right at the start, we are running straight into their machine guns. <laughs> my poor light infantry squad just got decimated. But we're ready at least to blow this up. And both my Bazooka boys absolutely failed. Classic. Okay, well, next thing I'm going to do is bring in some mortars. And... Those can start yes, to pound the defences here, including these MG nests and also this SDKZ-25110. Uh, the other thing that I'm going to do is uh, probably build some bunkers and stuff. I'm actually going to build uh, one here, like an MG watchtower. Uh, let's just do it like this. I'm also going to create a pillbox here. And we'll get ready. Push this in. Should probably move my mortars over a little Got bit it, as sir. well. Just so that they can provide support. You can see, yeah, these are all of the engineers that I have. I have 15 in total. You can lose them if they get shot, of course. You see they have a progress bar around them. Currently what we're trying to do is just get as far up as possible. We need to go. It looks like we are being pushed on by enemies. There is a tank there as well, so that's not very fun. I don't think I'm going to really be able to take that out. We'll give it a go. With the AT grenades. Never mind. I might have the tree failed once again. <laughs> There's not really much I can do about that. We can try and get some bazooka boys up here. But my other chaps are one I'm gonna do a run at. Just get these on the ground so they aren't shot at by this fella. The other thing you might notice is that I can right click these because I do have a bunch of medics. Looks like we might be able to charge him with a T grenades. Pick him out, boys. There we go, we got him. <laughs> Teamwork. <laughs> I'll let my medics come in and clean things up and we'll push in on a subjective. There's going to be people in these trenches, most likely. What I should do is probably use smoke, but there's enemy airstrike coming in. Uh, yeah. Well, let's go get in this trench. They've kindly constructed for us. My guy can make it. Nope. <laughs> My late infantry boys really let me down today. <laughs> I tell you that much. Well, my mortars, meanwhile, are just firing away, and you can see that we have picked up quite a few kills. I have lost quite a few men as well. I can also pick up my friendlies units. I want to be helpful. But that is a Panzer III coming in. Actually, what I'm going to do, we'll put the bazookas in the pillbox. The other thing on the right-hand side here, I should probably build some defenses for my teammate. Uh, so let's just put one here. Uh, 
Can all throw some bazookas on that side. And when we get into the second echelon, and we'll unlock some more troops for us, we can maybe get a troop that can man this tower for us, although probably don't want to man it just yet, not with the tank right in our way. I'm gonna dig some trenches, I think, with my engineers. Alright, time to get some veteran riflemen up. Help out this guy on the right hand side. I love the way these guys are running forwards with anti tank grenades. Right, one of my mortars did get destroyed, that's okay. It's inevitably going to happen because of counter battery. Artillery in this, strong is, uh, in this game is super strong. Anyway, if we can get a couple of these veteran riflemen into this pillbox, that would be fantastic. So we'll just charge forwards, see about manning that. It should be relatively safe in there. I'm going to put another pillbox here. Nice thing about pillboxes is they are incredibly difficult to destroy. I'm not even sure if they can be destroyed. I've definitely seen them be like severely damaged before and they can be turned into pretty much rubble. Let's bring in some troops towards the center again. I am gonna need some riflemen to man this trench for me. Now once this is built, we will man it. I do find it a little bit silly that you can create <laughs> concrete structures mid-battle. And the dugouts and stuff are cool because they are like dug into the ground and then you know, they have like wooden overhead, but if I can build like concrete bunkers like this is a bit silly. But very effective, so, you know. Might as well make use of it. You can see them in there shooting through the slit. They're helping us out quite significantly, holding that side. One of my teammates also able to use the Engineers, you can see that he's building these dugouts, which is cool. Got it, sir. And the poor horse can actually ride horses in this game, it's pretty fun. sure that we're going to be able to engage this MG very well. It's a big bomb coming in. Can I cancel this? <laughs> I'm not sure I can. Yeah, we can tell them to retreat. They don't die. <laughs> Let's do that. Meanwhile, let's bring in some sappers. I am gonna. Ooh, actually, no. <laughs> That's a tank right there. He's decided to destroy that. Okay. Oh, we're gonna want him to come forward so we can hit him with the bazooka. Meanwhile. 
Looks like my mortar is trying to take out that MG. That's okay. Nice. Killed one of those. Perfect. That was a really good defense, actually, for us. Just like me losing all of my light riflemen. We pretty much just did that to them. Oh, that guy almost took a bomb there, but went in the pillbox. We can probably drop a TNT out of here, maybe, if we're not bombed to oblivion. Sapa did manage to get the TNT in there. And you just saw it blow him sky high. Well, I think it was dynamite. But there we go. One thing that might be worth us doing is setting up a watchtower back here. This is an incredibly contested area, I assume. It's because they're trying to capture a flag to get their points up. Oh, that <laughs> crashed. <laughs> through this guy and hit the MG nest as well. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. Well, at least this defense worked okay. What I might do here is actually make him dig a little trench for himself so he can hold the ground. I'm gonna get him out of here, put him on this MG. I don't know if this could actually damage the 25110, it might be able to. It'd be really good actually. But I think it's a 30 cal, not a 50 cal. Yeah it is, it's a 30 cal. That is unfortunate. We are getting absolutely toasted right now. Engine destroy there is pretty rough. Ah. Alright, let's get some more veteran rifles up. We're gonna need the sappers. Nice. So my bunkers on the right are doing okay. Uh, we have these chaps. I might put one of these bazookas in each of these bunkers. We'll move one further to the left so that we can capture the front line now. So many people we could save right now, we just need to make the ground. It's going to be incredibly difficult with all of these infantry around and the airstrikes constantly coming in. Let's see if we can get a soldier into the machine gun. We'll throw some troops into this trench. take these out. I'd like one of these chaps to do a run up. We're gonna just throw TNT on the side here. Should blow all of them up. <laughs> we could have used a normal grenade, but this is way more effective. Okay. We're gonna run into this building and take out the guy inside. Perfect. Okay, we're holding pretty well actually. Now I'm going to take the opportunity to try and collect these guys with medics. Shoot 
on my signal. I'm not sure if I can complete this. Like if I can bring up engineers to do that retroactively after it's been cancelled, I'm not sure. But it looks like there's like a medic symbol there, I'm not sure if that was intentional. We gotta push to here, that's gonna be difficult. I'm gonna bring in an M16. We can probably use that to shoot down some of these aircraft that are kinda of come in. Try and save one of my bazooka lads there. Get some more in. Just in case. already been taken out. That's unfortunate. Yes, <laughs> Brutal. Go. Okay, yeah, but we're definitely not capturing that, so that's okay. Yes, We are still ahead, so that's nice. I'll try and use one of these bazookas to take out this tiger, or at least disable it. He's reloaded. Oh, we actually got the kill. Beautiful. That was a tiger. Taking him out. Very, very nice. Okay, next thing we're going to do, we're going to get a morpher up here. And we're into the last phase. Let's bring in the German. This is the only tank that we have. And it has the uh, crab on the front. So we can take out mines if there are any. Mines aren't something that you see used too often. But uh, are pretty effective if they're used correctly. But like, we could place some mines up this road, that would probably be a pretty good idea, to be honest. But if they were to push us, we have something to defend ourselves. We want to keep a couple in there at least. We'll have some move up. This veteran sapper is actually doing a really good job right now. Perfect. Zookas have been doing a good job. Like it. Let's move up to this stone building. We can also fortify these buildings. always handy to fortify them a little bit. We can also place anti-infantry lines. So let's go ahead and do that as well. That's a heads up. We can't really do anything against that, so we best back out of it. I say that. We managed to get a good hit in. Very good. 
I'm not sure this would be able to fire while the uh, <laughs> crab's going, but... That'll do. Just try not to run over any friendlies while we're at it. We'll bring up some riflemen that can push the front line. So we've created a bit of a strong point here between me and my allies, which has been pretty cool. We can install dynamite on these roads. That would be a good idea. <laughs> Unless he gets hit by an AT gun <laughs> and goes absolutely flying. Never mind, I guess. Alright, this chap's going to come in front and push the front line for us. Trying to avoid these mines, of course. Got it, sir. We'll let one of my yes, chaps sir. come out here and spot for us. We'll do that. Let's see if we can get a nice shot onto this. Wow, that was a very good shot. Perfect. I'm inside that building so we can help defend it. Got it, sir. Well, that's a king tiger. Okay. So we're gonna have to do something about that. We have troops pushing up on the left as well that we're gonna have to deal with. I might build a couple of pillboxes there just to hold that. These chaps are alive, but we're gonna tell them to leave the fight. On 1,521 points at the moment to their 1,300. The way that we win is we hold more territory than our opponent. That gives us score. Uh, kills give you score. And capturing objectives gives you score. So those are the three things. Unfortunately, my chap is going to get pushed out of here. It goes down with it with the ship. That's for sure. I'm going to bring in an M16 on this left side, and we're going to have to defend this. I've laid these down so that when they come over the ridge here, we should be pretty accurate at dealing with that. Need to hold the side here. Gonna move forwards, capture the territory so we can build a pillbox further up. We'll build a pillbox like here, yeah, that'll do. Alright, let's try and clear out the rest of the left side. Rescue that guy while we're at it. I'm also probably going to want to create a little bit of a trench line. I'm 
I'm also going to make a pillbox on the left here, I think. Just need to clear out that building. Get these into the trenches. And as soon as it's ready, we'll jump into the pillbox there. So this is pretty much our job as the engineer battalion to like shore up the front lines for our team. You can see that on the right, my pillboxes are still alive. My bazooka did just hit that puma, so that's good. Got the most kills on the team as well, which is nice. A little bit of an extra there. <laughs> right, let's bring in some more bazooka friends so we can pop them in the pillbox again. I'm probably going to put one on the left as well, so right, let's build a pillbox just here. And hopefully we'll deal with this soon. Oops. <laughs> Completely messed that up. Anyway, we have more rifles that we can bring up to take advantage of this. The M19 is still doing a good job. Meanwhile, the sappers can push forwards. Try and take a little bit extra ground for the team. Keep them pinned down with those chaps. Gonna have to get that grenade. They're all <laughs> reloading at the same time. Not helpful, dudes. I'm getting the trench. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> That's not good. There was some ISU on the left here. Where did my bazooka boys go? We'll get one into that. And we're gonna move to the left. <laughs> my M19 got blown sky high. Do I have any smoke? I do. Alright, let's get a smoke grenade out. Kind of risky for him to do that, but I'll be alright. Ah. <laughs> Never mind. Alright, do I have more bazooka grins? I do have some more. I got the bazooka boy in there, but that's not close enough. Still holding here, although it seems like most of my sappers have been taken out slowly. Oh, on the right hand side. That's unfortunate. We've lost our position here. We just gotta keep holding the line, make them bleed. We've got four minutes 30 left and we're ahead by like 200 points, so I'd say we're doing okay. I'm to deal with a lot of the map right now. I'm hoping I can get back to these pillboxes on this side. I don't think I'm going to be able to, but give it a go. I don't think I'm going to be able to get a grenade over here. We'll try and get a TNT around the corner like we did before. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm trying to force them into line of sight. I might throw one in here as well. I can't get line of sight. Can I not? Let's 
not working. It's fine. Just go in. And we'll take our shots at these guys. Nice. We have some control at least. In the middle. They are making ground. Bring up some rifles and stuff that can hold the line. Over here, one of my rifles did get taken out. I'll bring in the light rifleman that we've saved to cover that. I wonder if I can build tank taps across the bridge. I can't. can build them like that though. Also probably worth laying some barbed wire like this. So they can't come round our flank easily. It's bunker. We just need to spread these out a little bit. Really do need to keep infantry spread out in this game, mainly because of airstrikes, which are incredibly effective. Bring up some rifle recruits on the right hand side. We could really use some trenches and stuff back here. Pretty hard. And recover our crew. I'm sure we like run out of bazookas, but we should be able to hit that. Nice, he dead, but <laughs> he got knocked out of the bunker. Nice, we did it, we held on. That was getting close actually, we only won by like <laughs> 35 points. <laughs> Crazy. We managed to get the most kills on infantry, 125, we lost 100 men ourselves, it's quite not a good KD. But uh, really fun game there, and hopefully you guys uh, saw a little bit of the ability that the engineers have to really shore up the line. They really do suffer though against tanks, but my bazookas really held the line for us in this game. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.